Oh, Benj- Benjamin Gherkin of Kemper Catholic goes 6-4 to win the Hawkeye 10 here today. Uh, ben, I know you were going for 6-6, but nonetheless, uh, conference title. Just, you know, what are the thoughts? How are you feeling about today? Uh, I feel great about today, and, you know, just keep moving on to next week, and hopefully I can get first or second and take a road to state. I mean, that'll be fun, and Drake was super fun this year, so state would be better. How much of a confidence builder is this going into state qualifying next week to go out and, and, I mean, there's some really good jumpers in this conference to win the conference. I'm sure it's got to really build the confidence. Yeah, I'm super confident about myself, you know, coming out here and uh, beating Isaac Jones. I mean, he's a great jumper, but, I mean, jumping 6'7", then you got me jumping 6'5", just coming out here and confident and beating him is a great way to go to state next week and build even more confidence. Tell me about your jumps today. What did you do well that, that put yourself in a good spot? Uh, I brought my arm up and across and got my body more over the bar. And, I mean, I got my butt squeezed a little bit, so my butt didn't hit the bar coming over. And, you know, just that last jump on 6'6", barely touched my butt and barely fell. But it would have been super exciting to get that and set a new PR at the Hawkeye 10. You look at your season. I mean, you've had quite the year. Uh, what, where, what do you attribute that to? Uh, I mean, basketball, I'd say. Can, you know, during basketball season, just ju- I've always jumped off one leg. I've always been better jumping off one leg than two feet. And just having basketball, having basketball practice and throwing down dunks and practice and in-game with – my teammates was super exciting and then coming out here and jumping off one foot again just confidence transferred from basketball over to track so say qualifying next week uh you know a week from tonight what's it going to take for you to have a big night uh my leg to be healthy <laughs> shin splints i mean hopefully they are pretty good for next week and you know i can go out and perform my best and jump my best and hopefully take a trip down to state Four gold medals for Harlan's Will Newhart tonight, the Hawkeye 10 Championships. Uh, Will, you can't ask for a much better night. Just how are you feeling? I uh, feel great. You know, it's great to come out of conference and get four dubs, four goals. So that was the goal coming into it, and I achieved that goal. So it was a good night. 100, 200. Uh, I know I think you had Cade pushing in both of those. Uh, talk about those races and, and what you did well. Uh, I felt like middle of the race I was doing okay. But I need to work on my blocks. My blocks weren't very good tonight, but... It's good having Cade Pushy be me and him always go at it in these races. It's just friendly competition out here. Conference record in the 4 by 2 as well by like less than a second, but it's a conference record. How exciting is that? What did you guys do well in that relay? Uh, I felt handoffs were good. We all ran really hard despite the wind. Another 128, we seem to be getting, getting closer and closer to sub-128, trying to get 127. So we did everything we could have done right in that race, but just our goal is to keep getting that time down state qualifiers next week uh where you i mean where are you guys at you feel like mentally do you like where you are uh i feel like we're in a good spot but there's more work to be done we need to we definitely need to fix up some handoffs you definitely we're mentally there but we could be mentally better i feel like we could be handoffs could be better we could be more hyped for our races but once when district and state roll around i have no no doubt that we'll be ready for any challenge that comes our way couple of Hawkeye 10 conference titles for Shando's Alex Ray Z tonight. Uh, Alex, you always want to perform well in your conference meet. I know you did that tonight. Just how are you feeling afterwards? Uh, I feel amazing. I think, I think uh, like, one point in your track career, like, this is your high point. Conference meet's one of your high points other than districts and state, but this is where I really pull, pulled my stuff together and kind of came through. The sprint medley team's been phenomenal all year, but tonight... You guys break your own school record, and you set a new conference record. You know, how excited were you guys to do that, and, and what went into that tonight? Uh, it was a just a, it was a whole team effort through and through. We all ran extremely well, and just as teammates, as how we bond, I, we always plan accordingly and set goals for ourselves, and we just pick each other up. So that has a lot to do with how we performed today. I know the 400. You've battled with Jack all year. Uh, you got the best of them tonight. Take us through that race. Oh, it was an amazing race. Uh, I changed up my block start a little bit because I had some critique on my block start, so I switched that up a little bit, and I think that kind of put me on top through that whole race. 
looking ahead, uh, you know, state qualifying is a week from tonight. You know, what are the goals and expectations going into that? Uh, goals to run my heart out. You know, any, anything could happen, and I'm going for gold on every single race. A couple of titles tonight for Shadows Brody Cohen. Uh, anytime you can perform well in the conference, uh, I know that's got to feel good. Just how are you feeling tonight, Brody? What are the thoughts? Uh, I thought we had a really good night tonight. Our sprint med, uh, we broke the Hawkeye 10 record, I'm pretty sure, yeah. And uh, 400 hurdles, uh, had a new PR in that, and yeah. Yeah, you know, that sprint med, you guys had set a school record earlier this year. You break that tonight, you break the conference record as well. What is it that's making that relay tick? Um, you know, we've been we've been working a lot and keeping the keeping the relay the same order and everything and working on it every every meet this year. So you know, I think that uh, having all that experience is really shortening our time down this year. So, yeah. And then you know the 400 meter hurdles, uh, you edge Braylon I think seven hundredths of a second. Take us through that race. Um, you know, I, I started out pretty slow, but I knew I knew that if I could save enough energy for that end for the end, I could uh, pull up in front. So you know, that's what happened. If I remember correctly, I think last year he just got you uh, at the line. So to kind of flip things, where was the difference tonight? Did, what, what did you maybe learn from last year that you've learned since then that put yourself in that spot tonight? Um, you know, I, I've been working on it a lot, uh, trying to get my hurdles uh, a lot better. But I started over a few, which wasn't too good. But, yeah, I think that getting my hurdles down and actually getting a good 400 time is, is really helping a lot. What's the approach heading into state qualifying next week? Um, I'm going to be running four in the hurdles there, so hopefully, hopefully I can win that. And yeah, uh, sprint med will be will be doing that four by one, four by two, and yeah, hopefully we'll win all those. How about four goals for Lewis Central's Ethan Icorn tonight? Uh, Ethan, I think some like 6,400 total meters, and you win all four events. How are you feeling, man? I mean, I feel like I've been running like all meet long, I was warming up and cooling down and racing, but I mean it's fun, like. Trying to help them out my team that much, doing all I can for them. So I mean, it's worth it. <laughs> Legs are a little heavy right now, so I can't wait to jog. Really easy tomorrow, but I mean, it's worth it. So. And it's not like uh, I mean, not like you cruised, right? I mean, every every race was a dogfight. Uh, just kind of take us through through those and maybe having that mental edge. I mean, that 32 was really warm and windy. We were we jogged for a while and then we really picked things up. I think we went. 510 first mile and 444 next mile so like we switching gears is kind of tough and then that DMED my team gave it to me in a really good spot so I mean we did well off that with my team and that 800 Andrew Smith really gave me a run for my money I beat him by one hundredth of a second maybe so came down the lane and Bryant also I mean everybody this, this conference is really talented and there's a lot of really good runners and it's really underrated so I had to work for all that so yeah, it was one one hundred of a second in the 800, and I don't know what the official time was in the 1600, but also it was close. And those two races, I mean, you don't see those come down to photo finishes often. What what was the difference for you, you feel like? I mean, I'm really competitive, so I just don't really want to lose either, and I, I think my kick's doing a lot better with 300 to go. I've been trying to kick the whole time, so, I mean, my competitive competitiveness always kicks in that last 100 or 200, so when they come up on me, I just want to win and stuff, so that helps a lot. In the DMED tonight, I know that's an event maybe you've dabbled with a little bit, uh, but you're in it tonight. How are you feeling about that event? It's, I think I can do really well at state. I mean, all you got to do is have uh, good handoffs and just run as fast as you can and stuff. And I think our team is really skilled and we can do really well at that state. We'll definitely run at districts next week, so it'll be a really fun event to run at state. Looking like it's going to be three in a row for you guys as a team as well. How exciting is that? That's amazing. I mean, we've been working hard. Everybody's been working hard for a while now, and we I mean all hard work's paying off. And this is the one of the big ones we want before conference or districts and states. So I mean, it's just amazing. And like, I mean, my whole high school career we've won. So I mean, that's just awesome. All right, coach. Uh, you guys are kind of making this a, a theme now. Three conference titles in a row. Uh, just you know, what are the thoughts after tonight? Uh, just that our, you know, we, we kind of pointed it up beforehand. And we felt like we had, uh, the, you know, kind of the favorite team, and uh, our guys just kind of did what they needed to do, and uh, you know, it kind of kind of came out on top there. And about the 400 hurdles, I think we really started to pull away, which is about where we had it uh, starting to pull away. So, yeah, and I know uh, coming in, it looked like on paper you guys were, were the favorite, probably pretty comfortably, but you still have to go out and execute. And I know sometimes that can be kind of concerning as a coach. But for your guys to execute the way they did tonight, what can you say about that? Yeah, you know, we, we kind of got off to a little bit of a slow start, just kind of 
not not bad stuff, but just it wasn't as as good as we thought we we could have been. And then all of a sudden, our kids just kind of took over, and uh, they know what it's like to compete at a high level, and they know what it's like to compete, uh, you know, through multiple sports and at a high level. And so that's what they did. You know, the last two came down to like the last event. Uh, you guys may have made it a little easier on yourselves tonight. Uh, yeah, you know, when you have uh, when you have Ethan Icorn. Scoring, scoring forty points for you in, in four different events that are that are really tough. That's uh, that helps you get that thirty point cushion. Yeah, and he had I mean a phenomenal night, like you said. You know, he wins the eight, he wins the sixteen, he wins the thirty two, he, he wins the D med. Uh, you know, how how fortunate are you to have you know a dude like that that you can just plug in and know that he's going to get you a lot of points. Yeah, you know, he's not only become a way stronger runner, he's also way smarter uh, as a runner now. Uh, he he really kind of knew what he had to do in those in those events and i think that's big when you're running the 32 the 16 and two eights um you really can't overdo one of the events because then you can't come back in the other one and, and everything he did tonight on the track was just really smart aside from ethan being a beast what stood out to you tonight uh you know just the overall just our overall team in general um they we scored points in all but one event and we were ninth in that one so we just missed scoring in that one um, I think just the willingness of our kids to run whatever, whenever, and wherever, uh, I think is what's huge for our program. Looking ahead now, uh, you know, how, how do you try to attack things next week to put you guys in a good spot? Uh, well, I don't want to give away too much, but, uh, you know, we're going to – I think it's pretty easy to see the events that we're good in. You know, use quick stats and you can see where we're at and some different stuff. And uh, our coaching staff will go put together a lineup here this weekend and then uh, let it roll on Thursday and hopefully do well there and hopefully do well at State.